Hello, computer scientists. Today we're going to continue on and go to lesson 11 in code.org, programming with the B. I'm going to start on my skill building lesson part one. It says try stepping through your code one block at a time. This is going to be great. Help the bee collect all of the nectar. So I'm going to tap OK. And notice I'm getting a limited number of blocks that I can use. And this is going to become important as I move further through the lesson. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to figure out how many times do I need to go forward to get the bee to the nectar, and then to the next flower, and then get to the nectar. So he needs to move forward twice to get to the first flower. Then I need to say, get nectar. Then I need to move forward again. And then I need to get nectar again. But if I notice, I only have five blocks to use and I'm, our, I'm, over, I'm over my block amount to, of six. So I need to figure something else out because it's going to tell me that I can't do that. So where am I seeing something that I've repeated? So I said, move forward, move forward, get nectar, move forward, get nectar. So my move forward and get nectar, I've repeated. So I don't have to use all of those blocks. I can simply say two times, I want to move forward and get nectar. Oh, and there I have five blocks and I've used five blocks. So let's see. Awesome. Going to hit continue and go on to the next lesson. Now it tells me that I need to repeat, use the repeat loop to get all of the nectar. So I'm going to move forward twice to get to my nectar. And in order to collect it all, I need to say, get nectar. But I have a four right here by my flower. That means I need to collect the nectar four times, not five times like it already has. So I'm going to change the five to a four. Check my number of blocks that I can have. Five out of five. Perfect. And hit run. Awesome. So now you're going to do the same thing to get in more quickly to the flower to get the nectar. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. It's just a practice before we get to a little bit harder of lesson next time, which is called variables with the bee. So I hope you have fun.